Hey, so coming to you from the last leg of my road trip down to Texas. And what I've decided to do is spend this last night in the southeast corner of New Mexico at a little spot called the Carlsbad Caverns. Now you may be thinking like, whoa, Chris, why are you going to the Carlsbad Caverns to shoot in some caves when there's so much beautiful scenery all around New Mexico? Shut up! It just worked out location wise. So yeah, planning to go to the Carlsbad Caverns, do some photography inside the caverns in the day, and then I'm just gonna find somewhere to camp out for the night out there. I think when I get to the caverns, it's going to be very quiet. And you know, it's a big cavern, so the sound is gonna carry very far in it. Kind of like that, you just hear a, a drop of water into a pond in a cave and it just echoes like Boo. So I'm gonna try and get a lot of the talking done here in the car. It's also gonna be very dark, so we'll see how the video goes. I apologize right now if it's a bad, if it's just not a good video. So a few things I've learned about cave photography in my like 20 minutes of research last night. Some cave areas, it seems like, don't allow you to have tripods during certain times of day when it's real busy or if you're on a guided tour or something because I guess the walkways can get narrow and your tripod can just block the walkway and people will trip over it in the dark and stuff. If you do go to some caverns though, it's something worth researching. And then secondly, one thing I was reading about is not all caves provide artificial light um, and very few caves have natural light, like from the sun or the surface, I guess. So if you're in a cave that's just completely dark, you may have to provide your own source of light and using the camera's built-in flash is not usually recommended and I can totally see why. If you're in the dark there and you try and take a picture of like a stalagmite or a stalactite it's going to just be a it's going to put so much light on whatever's close to the camera and everything else in the cave is going to be left in these dark shadows and I think it's just going to look really unnatural and then um that's basically it man I, I honestly don't know exactly what to expect I've heard they're just pretty cool caves so let's head out there and do a little cave spelunking so I'm walking down into the cave. Check it out. So there's a natural cave entrance. You can see sunlight popping through and some bats flying around. So the first thing I really noticed is it smells bad and it's cold. But uh, oh, into the shadows again. It's going to be very hard to make a video here. This is absolutely nuts. It's way bigger than I thought this would be. Huge. Huge. I already know I'm going to struggle to find some compositions because the cave is so messy. So much going on with like stalagmites and stalactites. So I'm a little intimidated. I might not come out here with any good pictures. And I don't even know what a good cave picture is. That right there, I'm gonna get in tight using a long lens and uh, just get some abstract compositions. Everybody's whispering, so I feel like I have to as well. But one thing you really wanna make sure is that you're not cutting off any of, you know, look around the edges of the photograph. Make sure you're not cutting off anything or Nothing sticking into the frame that's going to be distracting. Here we go, taking the picture in a minute. Well, I'm here on the trail. I finished the cave photography, but I didn't do much talking in the cave, so I'll kind of walk you guys through it because it was 
really awkward to talk or just whisper into the camera. And also it was so dark, I, I just couldn't, you can't see anything. So first of all, this cave was, I don't know what word to use to describe it. It was awe-inspiring, it was jaw-dropping. When I got into the main room, it was enormous. I mean, these pictures don't do it justice. I mean, you cannot, you can't get the scale of how big this place actually was unless you were there. For instance, this formation here that I'm gonna show right now, that big uh, column there is 60 feet tall. So that's what, like four or five stories tall? The thing about the cave is it's extremely messy. So I'm very happy I had my long lens with me, as I always do, because I'm always prepared. But that long lens came in handy because I was able to get nice and close and personal with some of these formations. One other thing to keep in mind, it was super humid. There's like little air particle or water particles in the air. And so I did all my shooting with my long lens first and then I switched to my wide angle lens just because I didn't want to be switching lenses a lot just because of all, that, all the humidity. I only switched lenses once. I have a weird relationship with caves after this experience. It was awesome. First time in a cave like that. But you know, obviously cave photography has its uses in nature, science magazines. As far as the landscape photography I was trying to do, which is just get some weird abstract looking photos, I don't know if they really work that well. But I mean, they're cool pictures, I guess. Cool to remember the trip by. So that brings me to here. I am in an area just, it's inside the national park. There's just trails and you can hike in and camp. Let's get, let's get some real landscape photography done. I'm kind of done with this cave bullshit. So, to be completely honest, I'm not that happy with either of those two photos, but I decided to include them in the video. I wouldn't call it a failure, but it's just one of those times in landscape photography when the composition that's maybe not working, or it's just the light, and that's landscape photography for you in a nutshell. You go out, you get some pictures, and then you look at them and you're like, ah, just average just average pictures. We still have sun and when there's sun there's hope. I got one. I think I got one. That sky started happening. So I found some cactuses set up real quick while the color's still there because you know in that sunset the color only lasts for a few minutes. The exposure is going actually right now but that's how confident I am that this is going to be probably the best picture today. It's a long exposure, three minutes. Just blurring that those clouds blurring the colors and ah oh thank you for watching thanks for joining me on this cave photography video. I know it's very atypical and most people will never go photograph in a cave, but it was interesting and it challenged me with something different. It's good to be back outside doing some normal landscape photography. Just get out there. Get out there, start shooting different things. Travel. Don't be afraid to drive to a new location. Scout it out. Shoot it. Have fun. Because that's what it's really all about. Alright, until next time, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.